TIFU by training my dog to be too obedient. Everyone thinks their dog is the best but seriously mine is pretty cool. Now that I work from home we spend basically every minute of every day together and we vibe. Perfectly. He sleeps in while I shower and get ready. Then a morning walk. Then he naps while I work. Lunch together. We use a leash but it's superfluous. So on and so on. The most protest I get from him is when I want to snuggle. He doesn't and he'll crawl closer inch by inch until I leave him alone. We also have a fenced-in backyard and a dog door, so he has free reign of the house and backyard. Most days. Today we have a repair guy working in the backyard, so Camden has to stay inside. He hasn't complained at all and asked only once to go out to pee. And this is where I fucked up. He watched the repair guy for a second. He peed. And then he watched the repair guy again. I assumed that Mandy was done. So I called him inside. And the little bastard hesitated. I assumed he just wanted to be outside longer so I called him again and he trotted back in like the best damn dog he is. Then he shit in the middle of the floor. TL. DR. My dog loves me so much he shit on the floor instead of disobeying me. Tax. Mine does this every time it rains and it's too wet for her precious little paws. She's an 80-pound Doberman. Yet she will melt in the rain. Edit. Pet tax. It's funny how small she looks in this picture. She's easily 80 pounds. Def a little overweight. Which we are working on. But if you've ever felt the love of a Doberman, then you'd have felt true love. Or codependency. Same thing? Dog tax. My mom has taught their dog to wait until someone gives him permission to eat because otherwise he would gobble up his food too fast and he also showed early signs of food aggression as a puppy. And now he absolutely will not eat until you give him a permission. He will just sit in front of his bowl and drool. One time my mom was giving him food and someone called her. She forgot to give the permission, spoke on the phone for 15 minutes and then went to watch TV. Then she started to wonder where the dog was. The poor guy was still sitting in the kitchen, drooling and waiting for permission to eat. If I call my dog and she needs more time she does a little whirl. It makes me laugh sometimes like she's saying bye a I need to walk around for 3 to 4 minutes sniffing. Before I cop a squat, we don't deserve dogs. I have a boxer turned 13 two weeks ago. The one in my profile pic. He'll do the same exact thing. He is obedient to a fault. And yes, the shit on the floor has been done after I called him while it was raining. He reminds me to give him his heart and thyroid pills. And he knows by the time of night when it's time to go to bed. He's also the Omega dog. He'll take the least superior position in a group of people. Gladly. This is so pure. I really needed that. Meanwhile, my pug pissed all over my bed because it rained outside and didn't want to get his feet wet. I would have taken shit on the floor, haha. <laughs> my dog will 100% only poop in the garden. If she ever poops in whilst we're on a walk, she's either desperate or unwell. My other dog poops and pees wherever he wants except inside the house. It's great, except his flaccid penis sticks out entirely whilst he poops and it swings around without a care in the world. I wish you'd stick to poopung in the garden. Alright now, pay your dog tax. Mine purposefully ignores me when she needs to poo. She looks at me like, no, I don't think I will. Your doggo looks absolutely adorable. My dog was taught to wait after drinking water until someone wipes his mouth with a special towel. And I still remember very vividly that at one point I had to start following him to the kitchen. Because he refused to drink if no one was holding his towel ready. This is a case of our malicious compliance, if I've ever seen it. 
My sister has a 14-year-old Yorkie and when he gets mad at someone like they have been ignoring him or not doing something he wants he takes a shit in their doorway. I've stepped in it probably three times over the years and usually he only does it once every six months or so but he did it last week to my mom because instead of taking him on his usual walk when we he came over she went to run errands and then worked on her computer for a couple of hours. Apparently the old bastard I call baby grandpa did not like that lol. Ah oh, that's so adorable. Our dogs nervous about pooping in front of strangers. Edit. Thank you for everyone telling me about their dog pooping stories open mouth smile. After reading these comments I rolled over and cuddled my dog. He's the best. Serves you right. Never rush a good potty break. One time my dog was outside doing her thing. And I thought she was done and I couldn't see her so I called her inside. And the poor thing was walking and pooping at the same time to come to me. I felt so guilty like, no honey you can keep pooping I'm sorry. I used to have a dog, who was a very good boy. But he wasn't what you'd call obedient. He never really acted up he just minded his own business. But he'd only listen to commands when he felt like it. Which was fine. Because like I said, he minded his own business. Still, one time I he gave me the proudest moment I've ever had as a dog owner. One day I'm walking him, and he stops to take a poop on someone's lawn. I'm a responsible dog owner. So I had a bag already in hand the second he started to do his poop ritual. An old lady comes out of the house and starts yelling at me not to let him poop on her lawn. By that point it was too late and she didn't want to hear it. If you've ever spent any time around dogs, you know you don't really have any control over where they shit. They just hunt out on the perfect patch of grass and go for it. Whatever. I ignore her, pick it up, and get on with my life. Next time I was walking him that way, I jokingly told him to take a shit on her front walkway. I guess he didn't have to poop. But he immediately cocked his leg and peed all over the walkway. Never been so proud of any dog I've owned. The amount of tax evasion in the comments is too damn high. I have expected the tax to be pick of the shit on the floor. Thankfully it was cute doggo. I think you were interpreting this wrong. Today, your dog taught you to trust him. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.